on a distant island where memories intertwine with reality and light merges with darkness. Adele stands at the brink of his destiny after a strange accident. He watches, hesitant, as the mysterious island looms before him. Caught between two worlds, he decides to begin his journey of discovery. The island is ruled by its own laws of time, filled with spirits, riddles and disappointments. He stands on the verge of despair and hope, between good and evil, not knowing where his next step will take him. A few weeks ago, Adele lived a relatively normal life as a recent law graduate, dreaming of a future as a successful lawyer. To save money for his own law office, he worked at a rice mill. The morning sun began to rise on the horizon, announcing the start of a new day. Adele, standing beside his motorcycle, put on his helmet as the sound of the engine hummed softly, urging him to set off. He was ready for whatever challenges lay ahead at the mill. His ambitions were clear, but the reality of his day-to-day -day work at the mill reflected the internal struggle he felt. His work clothes were a stark reminder of his responsibilities and the modest life he was leading to support his family. A large truck, laden with rice sacks, approached as Adel, focused on his task, began sorting the heavy sacks. The sound of the truck's engine pierced the air and Adel quickly moved to unload the sacks onto the platform. He worked methodically, his body moving through the familiar motions, but his thoughts were elsewhere. A deep sense of pride swelled in his chest as he lifted each sack, feeling the weight of his responsibilities to his family and their future. While he was immersed in his work, something shifted in the air. From the corner of his eye, Adele noticed a young girl standing on the balcony of a nearby house. The sunlight played with her long hair, making it dance in the gentle breeze, and her wide, bright eyes sparkled with life. For a brief moment, everything else seemed to fade away. The beauty of the scene struck Adele deeply, as if a delicate flower had bloomed in the middle of his otherwise routine life. Despite his growing feelings for her, Adele found himself unable to approach the girl, her name unknown to him. His shyness held him back and he tried to refocus on his work, but the image of the girl remained with him, lingering in his thoughts like a song he couldn't stop hearing. Later, he would learn her name, Alia. Her presence became more than just a fleeting distraction, it became something he looked forward to every day. The rhythm of his days at the mill remained unchanged, but now there was something new, something hopeful. Alia, like a flower in a garden, began to occupy a place in his heart, bringing a lightness to his otherwise heavy responsibilities. Each new day brought a fresh moment when Alia would appear on her balcony, looking out at the world as if searching for something beyond the horizon. Her beauty was almost surreal, as if the sunlight itself played in her long hair, and time seemed to stop whenever Adele saw her. For those brief moments, the world was filled with a golden glow, and he was granted a precious opportunity to appreciate her beauty. Despite the growing storm inside him, Adele tried to resist his feelings. How could a simple man working at a rice mill dream of someone so beautiful? How could he even think about someone like her? Yet every time he saw her, his heart raced, full of joy, like the excitement of children on a festival day. Alia wasn't oblivious to Adele's stares. Sometimes she would catch his gaze from behind the window, and for a moment their eyes would meet. It was a silent exchange, a connection so brief yet powerful that it shook his heart. Each time, the encounter felt as though it was more than just a look, as though something larger was unfolding between them. With the passing days, Alia began tending to her garden more frequently, carefully nurturing the flowers with a love that mirrored the feelings growing inside her. It was as though each flower represented a small piece of her heart, and Adele couldn't help but feel that, somehow, those flowers symbolized the hopes she harbored for him. On the other side, Adele observed her with an artist's eyes, studying every movement, every graceful touch she made with the flowers. Each step she took, each smile she gave her little brother who helped her, was a testament to her nurturing spirit and the life she brought to everything she touched. Adele's heart was a battlefield of emotions, shyness mixed with a deep desire to know her, to understand the world she lived in and to be a part of it. Yet every time he tried to approach her, his words failed him, caught in his throat like a heavy stone. The more he hesitated, the more painful his feelings became, as if each moment of delay tore at him. One day, 
As Adele was struggling with the heavy sacks at the mill, he noticed that Alia was once again tending her garden. The sight of her, so absorbed in her task, filled him with an inexplicable longing. Her little brother called her name, and the sound was like a spell that froze Adele in place. The name echoed in his mind, filling him with a happiness that surged through his veins like a magical incantation. The next few moments felt like they opened a new chapter in Adele's life. It was as if her name, spoken aloud, gave him a new sense of direction, a beacon to follow out of the shadows of his self-doubt. Yet, despite this new resolve, his old shyness held him back, pulling him into a familiar state of hesitation. That evening, as he worked alongside his older colleague Ashraf, the older man noticed something had changed in Adele. Ashraf had been working at the mill for over five years, and though he rarely commented on the personal lives of others, he couldn't ignore the quiet tension in the air. He approached Adil with a knowing smile, observing the subtle interactions between him and Alia from a distance. You've been looking at her quite a bit, Ashraf said with a smile. Am I right? Adele's face flushed with embarrassment, but Ashraf's words had broken the ice. Over the next few days, they exchanged small conversations and Ashraf began sharing some advice. He told Adil that Alia was a bright and talented girl who was studying law, just like him. She came from a good family, and despite her beauty, she was known for her humility and kindness. The more Ashraf spoke about her, the more Adele felt connected to her, and his admiration grew into something deeper. But as his feelings deepened, so did his uncertainty. He wanted to approach her, but his hesitation grew stronger with every passing day. Five days passed, but they felt like five years. Finally, Alia reappeared. Adele stood on the balcony, watching her with his heart dancing with joy. All his sorrows seemed to vanish in that single moment. It felt like magic, like she had never left, as if the days apart had been a mere illusion. How did I survive without seeing her for all these days? He thought to himself, unable to reconcile the time that had passed. Yet the doubt crept back into his heart. Did she choose to stay away on purpose? The question gnawed at him, making his reunion with Alia bittersweet. Adele tried to ignore the anxiety, but it slipped into his heart like a cold wind. Moments later, Alia's laugh echoed, breaking the spell of his worry. Her voice, like music, filled the space between them, and life resumed its natural course. A large truck loaded with rice sacks approached, just as it always did. Adele fell back into his routine, preparing to unload the heavy sacks, but his thoughts were far away. He tried to focus, but all he could think of was Alia, her voice, her smile, her presence. It was as though she had cast a spell on him, and he could think of nothing else. As he moved to lift a sack, his concentration faltered. He lost his footing, and in an instant he slipped. The heavy sack fell from his grasp, and before he could react, he stumbled off the platform. Time seemed to slow as his body fell, crashing hard to the ground. His head struck the earth with a sickening thud, and everything went dark. A voice rang out, muffled and distant, as if it came from another world. Adele. It was Alia's voice, filled with panic. But Adele couldn't respond. His body was paralyzed, and pain surged through every part of him. He could feel the world spinning around him, but his mind was locked in darkness. The happiness of those brief moments with Alia seemed to disappear as quickly as it had come, swallowed by the terrible weight of the fall. Everything hurt his entire body, but what hurt most was the realization that he might never see Alia again.